So if you're not familiar with Ignition Core, uh, we have some battle reports for this on the channel. The type of game it is, is a skirmish war game. It's a board size that's slightly bigger than Kill Team or Warcry, if we're familiar with uh, the Games Workshop style skirmish games. It's bigger than that, but, but still skirmish size. But your war bands are a little bit smaller than that. It is chibi art style, mech themed. You can kind of get an idea by the pictures here. Right here, you have actual gameplay, actual pictures of the models. Fantastic game. This is probably one of the most well-balanced games I've ever played, especially considering that uh, it's just launched. Usually the uh, first release of a game is has some kinks to work out, but this is the most solid game I've played on release, and it's still more solid than a lot of games that have been out for years. But there are currently three factions with a fourth being spoiled on facebook if you follow ignition core games there so right now you have the oni faction the paladin faction and the valkyrie faction the uh face of the game as it were or the paladin faction represented by this little main mech my main mech here but there's not necessarily like a good guy bad guy it is just literally four factions and they have their strengths and weaknesses but i want to go over some of the the lore about this First things first is what is the setting? What is the setting of Ignition Core? The world of Asalia. Asalia, Asalia, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but I'm sure everybody will say it different. The world of Asalia, uh, you got a little piece here that really sums it up quickly for you. Well, it says from the written history, he's insinuating that this is from like a, a physical document, a parchment. Uh, Many ago, a piece of heaven fell to earth. A single shard of dense crystal saturated with the creator's wisdom and power. There's a lot in that first sentence that is going to be reoccurring throughout the entire lore of this. So this sentence alone, remember this. It was enshrined below the temple in a large subterranean cathedral. And a prosperous civilization grew around it, seemingly overnight. At the top of the temple, the Babel Tower grew, as if daring to reach heaven. Foreshadowing. Then suddenly... This civilization vanished from all written history. Historians place the location of this crystal descent in the desert plains of Asalia. Asalia, Asalia. A barren wasteland that sustains no life, but houses a wonderful skirmish game. Because this is our main setting, the world of Asalia. And you see a little spoiler about a, a tiny, not spoiler, but a, I guess Easter egg. You don't know how much of an Easter egg it is until later. Emerging from the back of a ninja workshop, a young woman in worn coveralls greets you with a tired smile. Lots of freelance soldiers out here, willing to fight for the right price. She looks down almost wistfully at her shiny prosthetic arm. Government contracts, Yakuza dirty work, even poor farmers will pay what little they have for some safety. Skilled mech pilots can make a lot of money out here. More if their morals are negotiable. I see what she's doing there. For a moment her eyes appear hopeful as they lock with yours. Lock eyes from across the room. It makes me wonder who you'll fight for. Regardless, you'll need help if you want to work contracts in Asalia. Plenty of soldiers for hire at the Freelancers Guild. So welcome to Asalia, the main setting of Ignition Core. Land of conflict, there are many job opportunities. The more lucrative opportunities might be less appealing for altruistic types. However, there's profit to be made. There are many poor folks looking for mercenaries willing to fight. So go out there, find your quest. It's out there for you. 